Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. John Megacycle here, another episode of Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath Global Conquest Edition. Who Season 3, Episode 3, rocking it as the Skrin, the unknown alien race coming to Earth as they've already seeded Tiberium on planet Earth years ago, trying to claim the Earth as their own. Doing a fair job, I think, trying to emulate the Skrin. We've got a fair amount of control around the globe, trying to keep GDI and Nod in their place as the pitiful humans they are. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do a quick recap of what we've been doing and how far we've come. North America has always been in enemy control. We did not get a base there to start. A lot of good area. I do want to start working on that. South America, we have the Temple of Nod here in a Nod base. Going to want to make sure that we beef up our defenses here. And actually, we're going to go ahead and turn this base into a Tier 3. Definitely want to make sure we stay on par. We don't want to have any of our enemies take the full continent on their own. Now granted here I'm not so worried because there's a little bit of contention. It's going to take a little bit of work for either of them to just take the whole place. Moving on with Europe, we have GDI with their ion cannon control. We've got a good chunk of Europe here under our jurisdiction. We're also going to try to work on creating our own base structure here. In which case, I'm going to do that next turn. I want to get a good amount of spread out here to get started. So we're going to move a little more in this direction. Force moving out. Uh, this base has been damaged. Uh, not too badly. We can certainly work with the structures we've got. We've got our key production, some defense, and some... Yeah, we've got enough stuff to maintain here, so I'm not too worried about that base. Uh, moving over to Asia, we've been doing a pretty fair job trying to get this all snatched up and under our control. Good amount of Tiberium and city area that we've got moving forward. I'm very happy with how that's turning out. We're actually going to move this strike force after we repair it more to the east. Since we can't repair, actually we can repair, it only costs 4,000, that's right. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get that, sh Ooh, so many options. Let's go ahead and get the strike force repaired. Strike force. I do want that strike force to be active. Um, Nod has Japan under their control. They can have it. And then, of course, Australia here is under contested GDI and screen control. So we've got a little bit of stuff all over the globe. I'm pretty happy with how this is going forward. So we've already gone through our action phase. Let's go ahead and skip right to the battle phase, shall we? Okay, no contention. Just went ahead and got deployed. Now, this is exactly what I wanted to start working on. Strike force moving out. It's going to take two turns for us to get there. Let's do us a favor. I do want to colonize more in this direction. Let's spend Strike one turn for movement. And let's see how far they expand this base. If they get it to tier 3 by the time we get there, I don't think this is going to be enough hardware to attack with. Either way, I do want to get this all started to get cleaned up a bit. So let's go ahead and take this over. Initiating base construction. And that'll actually kind of kill it for us for cash. Uh, Operation canceled. Cancel that right now. That two thousand dollars is going to be very valuable in the next few turns. So let's go ahead and skip this turn. Ion cannon activated. Thank you. Gosh, nuke somebody else. We've already been nuked for hardly any reason. I mean, we're enemies, so I guess it's good enough reason. Okay, another turn. No big deal. Good amount of credits. It's still a tier 1 with no base defense. I can't attack it soon enough. Huh. And this isn't enough hardware with this team to actually do a lot of damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to move northeast and we're going to get a new base set up. I'm not feeling all too confident with what we've got there. Either way, time to get more stuff set up. Constructing strike force. Okay, pretty happy with how that's going down. Pretty soon here in about another turn or two, I'm going to want to make sure that I start establishing battlefield control by starting to crank out some units. We have the entire eastern seaboard, a really nice Tiberium spot, completely undefended. Looks like they've gone more to the northeast. They can have that territory, but I want to make sure that we start deploying some military. All this base spread out is good in theory, but we need to make sure that we emphasize battle control. 
And we can't do that if we just dink around. What is that? That's a Steel Talon Battalion. Uh, which I'm not too worried about. As we've seen in other matchups, we know how to deal with the Steel Talons, no problem. And, of course, we're going to be under attack. Uh, anything else? I don't see anything else. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Mammoths, Titans, Wolverines, and Engineer. Whew, they've got a good all-round force. This is going to be difficult. But I think if we use a lot of anti-vehicle stuff, we'll be okay, and our disintegrators are going to be the trick for that. So let's see what we've got. Oof, that's pretty close. Training. Building. Anti vehicle. That's all we want right now. I would like a uh, harvester. And I would start building an air force, but they had a couple of slingshots in there I'm not too keen on dealing with. Construction complete. Building. Let's go ahead and get one of these upped. If we just crank out these disintegrators like nobody's business, we'll be able to deal with those mammoth tanks as well. No. Complete. Over there, buddy. Building. Okay, let's let the building start to take the first hits, considering those uh, wolverines will probably be here first. Yep, here they are. And I immediately changed my mind. Construction complete. Our base is under attack. Unit Okay, Wolverines are still not here yet, but that's okay. Retreat a little bit. Counterattack. Now the buildings come in. Get this stuff queued up a little bit. No problem. We're gonna walk out of here with some pretty veteranized little jerks. Took out the whole battalion with nothing but these disintegrators. If they had any anti infantry, that was gonna be a total problem. And I'm wondering where the heck those Wolverines are. Cool, done deal. We didn't lose a single defensive okay. structure. We didn't lose any buildings. We, we didn't lose anything. And we're still cranking these guys out. That's perfect. Training. Now what I do want is I do Building. want to start working on economy. Now that we're not threatened nearly as much as we were 20 seconds ago, I want to make sure that's set up proper. And also in that case, we're going to take these guys and see what they've got. We could wait the 32 seconds until the Insufficient fog of war is removed, plans. but I want to see if we can get a jump on them. And I'm done mass producing you guys. Just hang around for a little bit if you don't mind. Enemy base sighted. That's what we want. That's the king crab right there. Get in. Get in. Get him. There's their wolverines that they could have totally used forever ago. Concentrate on that MCV. Good. Now all we have to do is take out that war factory and they won't be able to rebuild. Their titans don't mean squat if they can't produce structures. There it is. Just like that. And they probably have a barracks around here as well. I would hazard a guess. Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Three refineries, a bunch of harves, they were really emphasizing economy, which was a good move on their part. Now we can take as long as the hell we want. Eh, enjoy that. You know what? Enjoy these guys. Munch, munch, munch. That's it. Now to win, we're just going to crank out a bunch more disintegrators. Didn't lose any buildings, we didn't start the match with any units, so we've already reached our maximum, so we're just going to end this match as quickly as we can. There's really no point in prolonging it, considering we don't have an army we need to rebuild. Let's go and get some devourer tanks, absolutely. Get 
some orders queued up. And I think we're going to fast forward this bit. Since it's all clean up, I don't see any other threats on the map aside from their base here. They don't own any own any civilian structures. Pretty simple walkthrough. So I'm going to pass through this and I will see you guys in just a minute. I was really worried in the first like 30 seconds of this matchup. I, I genuinely like if if they brought maybe four more Wolverines, this could have been a real problem. If they brought any of their Wolverines, this could have been a problem. But they didn't. We walked through, no problem, no loss. I like it. Maintaining is exactly what we need to do. Now I'd love to repair this base and get it up another base tier and add defenses. But $5,000 is still a very significant number at this point in the game, so we're going to have to wait a little longer. Initiating base construction. Uh, yeah. I took too long to make a decision, and in turn, I ended up not making a good one. But that's okay. We're going to set up a base over in the east, not too worried. Initiating want to get some of these cities under control. happy with how that base is turning out. GDI SOCOM Battalion? Why in the heck are they coming all the way here? Huh. That's fairly interesting, actually. And a side note, I am going to want to make sure we get some of these other cities captured or out of not control. Either way, two new bases going up. Let's go ahead and skip this turn. Nuclear missile activated. Good, let you guys deal with each other. Oh, there's gonna be a whole mess of crap going on. Okay, Nod was victorious there, GDI was victorious here. It's good that they're being even about this. If one side is winning far too much, we gotta start concentrating our forces on beating the crap out of the other guy. And we want to make sure that we are left to our own devices a little bit, just so we can get our stuff set up like our economy. Upgrading base tier. Absolutely. That many cities right there? Upgrading base tier. Yes, sir. That one's maxed out. I'm not worried. That one needs repairs. Let's go ahead and Upgrading base upgrade defenses. your base defenses, considering you're tier 3. Now let's go through our strategic structures again. I, I need a bit of a refresher. Like I said, uh, at least in other episodes, I rarely play the screen, so it's important that we stay abreast on, or abreast on what this stuff does. Rift generator, self-explanatory. Uh, we're going to be aiming for these threshold towers. We get the wormhole and the phase field. Players inside are invulnerable but cannot be moved or targeted by any powers. That's going to be advantageous if we want to use that offensively to cripple an enemy battalion. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, what else do we have here? Reduces the population in all cities. Reduces the population in target city. I almost think I want to go this life form plant first. Increases Tiberium. Damages enemy base. Damages base and strike force. Or the terraforming nexus sounds awesome. Either way, we're going to need some more cash. Not too worried this turn. Eight cities. That puts them at about a third. Uh, puts them exactly at a third. I can math. <laughs> Let's go ahead and skip. You think so? Really? I'm going to do the exact same thing I did last time. We're just going to crank out a crap ton of disintegrators. Oh, we got plenty of room, too. It's going to take them a while to get all the way over here. Good. Good. Mothership deployed. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. Where the hell did she go? Again, I really love the fact all of my structures are outside of my defense control. Oh, that's frustrating. 
And I'm going to lose them anyhow, so it's important that I get those rebuilt. Construction complete. Cannot deploy here. Come on. Cannot deploy here. Really? Building. One, two. Building. Construction sold. Construction complete. Construction complete. Three. Four. Structure sold. Building. Building. Construction complete. Five and six. Building. Structure sold. Well, it's either I do this and take care of my structures and get them where I can defend them, or I'm going to lose them. And I don't feel as a commander losing something because I'm lazy is worthwhile. Sold. And there's the two. Construction complete. Okay. Can I dump you guys somewhere? Great. Plenty of disintegrators. I'm pretty happy with how this is going to look already. Uh, oh, I need to build whatever that is. Uh, signal transmitter, of course. How could I forget? It's what you need to call in this beauty. I love you, mothership. I love you so good. Okay, we're going to get another storm column, and then I think we're going to move right to building a rift generator. Speaking of which, yeah, it's signal transmitter's hella expense. Complete. Hella expense. Building. Construction complete. Training. Yeah. Crowded is not the right word. Structure but. Enemy units sighted. That got everything in line and in order, so I'm happy with that. Oh, no, you don't. Nope. Crap, their zone troopers are going to be a real problem. <laughs> oh, you jerks didn't see that coming, did you? Not ah, crap, I didn't see the everything else either. Yep, I'm going to lose her. Just attack anywhere. On. Yeah, she's a goner. But that was pretty neatly worth it. All right, we've got our end game solution. Granted, not really a permanent one, but we have one nonetheless. Let's go ahead and start doing a little bit of ruckus. I don't think it's wise for us to attack this force head-on. All of their harvesters have the rocket defense ability. Crap. They're, they at least have rocket launchers tied to them, so I don't think a full-out air assault is intelligent either. But we're going to try and work down their economy a bit. Wow, they didn't take very long to slap all that together. Holy crap. So, I think how we're going to play this is the Devastator Warship route. And I would love a little more electricity. Yeah, we could easily sneak right in here, cause some serious damage. They've got a lot of light units. I'm not too worried. This is enough to get us started. I don't think we'll be able to get anywhere very far, but this will at least be a good start. Hello?
Oh yeah, that was totally worth it. Oh, that worked out great. That worked out way better than I thought that was gonna. Tiberium field depleted. I think we can get you guys back over to harvesting that pile. I'm keeping an eye on my mini map to make sure that it doesn't get out of hand and those mammoth tanks don't move in. Let's stop production right now. I want some cash on hand. And as I say that, I'm still building a crap ton of these guys. just gonna pick these guys apart. I don't want to really go for the MCV kill. I just want to hunker them down a little bit because I'm afraid the very second I attack that MCV they're gonna come back with those mammoth tanks. Oh yeah baby. I could not have asked for this to go any better. I really couldn't have. This is working out great. Seriously? Seriously. They just built a whole new base up there. And I am not paying attention very well. Let's get that. Let's get the anti-land stuff. Let's have our units not rush in like idiots. That would be great. Alright, pick it apart. Unit under attack. I'm still keeping a really heavy eye on what's going on up here. In two minutes, I can just ion or rift generate the crap out of them, so I'm kind of not worried anymore. These Devastator warships are bloody devastating. Out, I mean, duh. But they outrange, they're heavily powered, they're awesome. What are you guys doing? Get freaking to it. Oh. I'm not worried. Shockwave attack. I hope that $2,000 was worth it, guys. Alright, no need to rush in right now. They still have a lot of heavy stuff. Not nearly as much anti-air as they did when they started, but... What the hell caused that? Oh, okay. Why don't you back up a bit? I don't want to bring those mammoth tanks to us. And that totally just happened anyhow. I'm going to keep all that stuff there. We're going to wait the whole minute and we're just going to rift them. Rift them. Damn near killed them. Let's get these guys back into our loadout. And back to cranking out units. We got the cash. That's all I wanted was to wait just a minute or, minute or two. So we had some spare funds. But we've got more than enough now. We'll be able to take out, I think, all three of these refineries. The space uplink. Yeah, we'll be able to do quite a bit of damage. Then we'll do mop up with the units. Or I'm just going to get all those damn harvesters. Which sounds like a better proposition. Rift generator ready. Select target. Rift generator activated. 
Oh, yeah. Sweet sassy molassie. They're done. Clean them up. Unit under attack. These disintegrators will make great work of these vehicles. Yep, no problem. Hey, whoa. Here's the rest of these guys. It's not under attack all that hard. And you guys will be clean up. Go ahead and just start mopping up. Dink, dink. Uh, dink. Yeah, no problem. A couple of slingshots would have been a real issue. These rocket-mounted harvesters, not that big of a deal. Now, when they had the eight or nine of them, probably a bigger deal. But that's kind of why I chose to use the rift generator where I did. Unit under attack. And just Select for giggles. Target. Still pretty awesome. Let's work on the zone troopers first, considering they do have anti-air on them. And then the Harv, Armory, and I think that's going to be about it for this guy, huh? Enemy defeated. You are victorious. Nice! Didn't take a single structure loss. Able to reposition our power plants where we needed them. Yeah. Nicely done on our part. Very good. GDI is obviously going to start working on taking over all that. It's imperative we at least get one base over here on the eastern seaboard. So, we're going to need a port city. Which I don't see one very relative or uh, readily available. Either way, it's time to do some damage. I do want the life form plant so we can start crippling some of these cities. Considering city population, I believe, is what's giving these guys, GDI and Nod, some good credit boosts when they're in this area. If we start destroying some of the population, I believe we can start knocking off some of the cities for the Nod way to win. Ooh, Nod, sneaky little punk. Sneaky punk. Let's get a strike force set up here. And then we'll use the next turn to teleport it over via the port city. What's a good all-round force? This one's not bad. It kind of lacks a heavy punch, though. And we're only tier 2, so there's not a lot we can choose from. Let's go ahead and do this one. And I want it right... There. Upgrading. Uh, I do want another base. Constructing strike force. Immediately down here. We'll give it one turn. Move right here. Deploy. That'll give us some good control there on some other cities. So let's go ahead and call this a turn. Cannon activated. Are you serious? GDI just attacked cities? Wow, that's gonna look terrible on their bottom line. Aside from other war crimes against humanity and that sort of a thing. Wow. Okay, we're gonna call it an episode here. Um That was very uncharacteristic of GDI. I'm amazed the AI was built to do that. A little stunned actually. 
Anyway, yeah, we're going to call it here, guys. Thanks a bunch for watching. I appreciate it greatly, and I hope to see you guys next time. See ya.